everyone. Hope everybody's having a great morning. Um, still haven't updated my, my lawn chairs here. But today, we have a job. Now, we've got some more equipment now. I do have a... Uh, basically a semi I can pull a trailer. I actually have a big semi flatbed trailer so we can pull our dozer. We have a new dozer We got a couple new things uh, We got the Ram and we actually have a OBS Ford in there, which is pretty cool And then of course we have this Ford, but today we're going to be needing the dozer and the uh, old Bobcat skid steer with the stump grinder down here, there's actually a lake, and they're wanting us to clear a little area, and I looked, and there's like one tree there. I actually put cones out where we need to do it. So this dozer has a ripper on the back. We're going to rip up the ground and make it all dirt, and then we also got to cut that tree down, grind the stump, and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start this truck up, because they're putting like a picnic table type deal there. So, we're just going to clear it so they can build it. We're not building the picnic table or anything. But I am going to take a thing of, uh, uh, basically, hay down there to spread out so it'll, basically, it'll, it'll grow the grass a little bit better. So, we need to start a skid steer up. I think I can fit all this on uh, one trailer. That's kind of why I wanted a big semi-truck, so we can basically take all that. But I'm hoping the semi-truck can get down to where it is. If not, we'll have to park beside the road and tram it all the way down there. This little thing should be warmed up. It ain't that, it ain't that cold, but I wanted the semi to warm up a little bit. She's an old girl. Well, this, thing's, <laughs> this thing looks like it's maybe a little older, but it just had a rough life. This and the forklift. We got good deals on it. But we did uh, get a couple of new vehicles. We got the Ford, the Dodge, and of course, you know, the semi truck out there and everything. But I needed a semi truck so I can haul the dozer and stuff because these trucks would not haul the dozer. I, I wanted to try to find like kind of like an eager, eager beaver trailer type deal. I think that's what you can call it. To pull behind this, but I couldn't find any. So we just got this trailer for now because I'd rather be pulling it behind my dump truck. So it's not that big of a trailer, but at least we can fit everything on here. And of course the pickup trucks wouldn't pull a dozer, it, a dozer's heavy. And we're actually going to make it a little bit heavier by putting the uh, the Bobcat on here. I think the Bobcat skits here, whatever you want to call it. It ain't actually a Bobcat brand, but it's like, I've always called those Bobcats, but the skid steer I think could fit up on that top uh, level there. And I don't think we have to do any digging. I think it's just going to be straight. Basically just straight up. Uh, ripping and cutting. And then the rest of the tree, we'll probably just put to the side. Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Alright, we're going to back it off. I got the wood on the trailer because metal to metal could be really slippery as I'm dragging the blade across the, the, the thing there you go I got Red Bull and Coca-Cola here look at that ah. all right so let's go ahead and load this bad boy up hopefully <laughs> hopefully I can get it up through here because we do have that little edge right there but I know sometimes oops, uh, sometimes it does I don't know why that literally lifted all the way up. Apparently, what in the world? Okay, I, I don't know why that like went all the way up. I literally just wanted to go a little bit. That was weird. Our hydraulics are getting stuck here too. All right, can I make it up to here? All right, I know you can. Come on, little. Little machine. Oh, I want to back down a little bit because I feel like it's not gonna. Okay, we got this. There we go. Um. Yeah. I feel like Austin Powers right now. When he tries to turn that little machine around, <laughs> and we are off.
All right, so I don't know uh, if we're going to make this curve or not. I'm going to let this car get by. Um, if I can kind of go in at an angle, I think we'll be all right. The dozer should fit. This is just going to be the only problem here. And I think we're just going to have to take traffic up because literally I've been waiting and it seems like every car is kind of at its like... Thank you for getting right up on me. I do appreciate that. If I get stuck here, you're just going to have to wait. I'm going to try to come in at an angle. Hoping that's going to work. It did. Um, looks like we did clip through that a little bit. I just ran through somebody's field. Uh, I'm kind of scared to take the truck on down. But... I do have a dozer to push when we do to get stuck. So, we're going to try to trudge on down through here without getting stuck. That's the plan. be right here I marked it out in cones I'll pull over here nobody really drives down through here but you never know all right let me go ahead put that down and we'll be good I think I'm gonna grab this cone right here and put it Probably over here. Oh wait, nobody hits. All right, let's go ahead and get this big boy off. She's a monster. This is going. We're going to be just basically ripping up the dirt, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this tree down, and then we'll cut up in little sections and just push it with the dozer. All right, you're going down, tree. All right. Let's see. We're all gonna, I think we cut it about right there. All right. There we go. Um, I guess we're gonna have to cut it again because it looks like it doesn't want to fall. We just got to make sure to run if it, if it does come our way. <laughs> Please don't go toward the dozer. There we go. Perfect. Um, I think, let's see. Let's go ahead and try to trim some of this crap off of it. There we go. Any of the big ones or anything like that, we'll just, just saw the limbs off. All right, I think we're good. I want to go ahead and make a cut and make a cut because we're just going to push it back. Let's see, I need to grab that. Go right there. Okay, let's go ahead and use the dozer and push this bad boy out the way. Spend all this money on this thing. That going right? I'm going to uh, push a tree out of the way with it. <laughs> Go. Tree be gone. Because this is basically as far as we're going. I think I ran over ran over something of it. Did I? No. Alright. Um, we're going to have to get our skid steer off. Get that stump gone. This is going to be for later as I drop it. <laughs> it's going to be for later. So when they do put uh, the new one down, I mean the new uh, building down, like the picnic table, we can come back later and put that around so it, it'll grow, gra uh, grow grass, I can't speak, and uh, 
it'll, it'll look all good. It looks like it belonged here. It's going to be a pretty big thing, but people come down here and they they want to fish. They also want to be in the shade sometimes too when they're picnicking. So just try to make it a public park. All right. Get this bad boy going. This is actually like the first time I've ever used this. So hopefully, hopefully it does okay. Oh, let's back up a little bit. There we go. All right, it's the doing its thing. The old, the old skid still just scares me. I can't talk. Ugh. Old skid steers, she's a little bit wore out today. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we're good. All that crap just to uh, basically bring this down to get that stump right there. But we had to have it gone because that's where it was going to be. I wish I could have ripped it out with the dozer, but that's just how it goes. We're going to go ahead and make our first little, first little test pass here. See how it does. Oh yeah. Like a glove. I'm gonna try not to go across here. Let's see, we'll back up. And probably just do it like that. So we got all that done. Basically now what will happen is they'll have to come in and uh, build everything. Like I said, it's supposed to be like a little picnic table and stuff, but uh, we'll come back later after they get it built and use the hay and go around it and stuff. So it'll be a nice little grassy area. I think it'll be pretty good. I think these trees, we might end up coming back later and cutting them up and putting them out for like little you know basically little seats and stuff i've done that in the past so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this cone put it here and we'll put all the equipment back up and we're gonna head out and then we'll come back later on when they get the um the uh picnic area whatever you want to call it built and we'll uh Put some grass around it. That way it looked like it, it belonged there. <laughs> if I can get all this put back up, it will be all right. Come on, baby. Whoa now. Whoa there, whoa there, whoa there. All right. Forgot to turn off. There we go. Let's go put this big boy back up on here. We are out of here. I think I can go on and we should be able to come up near the shop. I think the the entrance from where our shop is is a straight shot, so we might have wasted time actually coming around a long way, but it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy up here. 
had to opt for the wide trailer so I can haul this and not have any problems or anything like that. I need to get that straightened back up a little bit. But I didn't want it to fall off or anything like that, so we're good. Let's drop that. And on the road again. Well, let's go ahead. Come on, baby. Well, shop bound. We'll come back later and uh, see if they got it built. Of course, the only way I'd go out there would be rocks, and the blade grabs hold of one. We went all through that earlier, and then, of course, on the way back, the blade's gonna grab one. I'll put this sucker down and uh, <laughs> push that rock out of the way. Yeah, this is the area I wanted to come through. Yeah, because there's their turn right there. So is a we, I was a little bit off. I thought it was a straight shot, but it's not. But I think we can make this turn. Fingers crossed we can. Maybe. Come on, baby. Uh, oh, I was like, oh, we're just stuck on a Yeah! Well, I went through that one, but but uh, we made it. We're gonna put all this stuff back and uh, let them give us a call. Uh, that should be strapped. All right, so it's been a couple days. We're gonna get ready to head down and see uh, all the progress they made. I got another uh, bell of hay here. I just want to make sure that you know if we need to put any more down they said that they'll probably end up doing gravel around it which you know i don't blame them so we'll probably end up getting a contract for uh you know taking some gravel down there putting around it i know they said they're supposed to be getting some picnic benches in i said you know whenever y'all get them just let us know and uh you know we'll go we'll pick them up and take them down there and everything and place where they need i think that'd be pretty cool to uh you know help out the the little the little community here Because I think this would be a cool place to go down, especially when uh, you know, you're on lunch or something. It should be a really cool place. So we're going to go down and check it out. I still got that wood that we need to cut up. I'm probably just going to cut it up in a little firewood and uh, st uh, just stack it behind the, the little, uh, the whatever you call it, shed, picnic area. I think it's pretty good. I think they're wanting to put maybe one or two more around. And try to make it, you know, into a full-blown park. This is nice. You can fit a, a couple picnic tables here, to be honest. All right. Um, I get some new tires this time. We got some slicks on us. Uh, I like it. I think it looks good. It's a monster. It looks like we cleared out just enough room. I didn't want to go all the way over to this tree because they kind of gave me the measurements. And I was kind of working off of that. So it looks good. Let's go ahead and cut some of this stuff up. I actually think that's probably a decent piece right there. And if they want to cut and make seats, whatever they want to do, they can do. If they don't want to do nothing, then don't do nothing. <laughs> Let's see. We'll cut here. And probably here. There we go. Get a little size tree. All right. It's a whole lot easier when I have my dozer. <laughs> I'm glad we left this little bush here. I started to clear it out with the dozer. I was like, you know what? Um, that might, you know, just make it a little bit better back here. A little privacy if they had to put any, like, you know, stack wood or something. Like, you don't, you don't want it to be just, like, open. Because if you put a porter potty or something back here, there you go. And, you know, I think they are going to try to put some play sets and stuff down here. So, hopefully we get contracted to do all that stuff. I know we got... A couple other uh, jobs coming up for bid that we're uh, 
we're working on. Hopefully, hopefully we get those too. I know we got to get a couple more uh, mach uh, machinery and stuff and trucks for a couple uh, jobs. I know I'm wanting to get if we can get the uh, bid in. All right, so let's go ahead to walk through the bushes. Go ahead and cut this one. This tree was a large tree. Holy crap. Well, I don't really know what happened there, but <laughs> she's going to get a little extra cutting today. And probably one more. All right. It's like I just want to be like, I'm guard. Da -da -da. Oh. I dropped my toothpick. Could you imagine just walking down a road like whole distance and people like, what in the world is that guy doing? Murderer! Wait, what? Do nothing. I just got my magic ginormous Harry Potter wand. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. We got we got a couple more. I wanna hurry up and get all this done so I can go back to the shop, grease the equipment, check everything out, because I like to do all that after a job. Fish at Dozier. We haven't got to run it, so I mean, it, we bought it second hand. Looks wonderful, but just want to make sure nothing's leaking. Lord knows there's skid steer. Uh, I cannot say that. Skid steer needs a lot of helping hands. It's not rust or anything. It's just got that patina on it. It's uh, it's worth more money like that. And all the oil and uh, hydraulic fluid and everything you see dri dripping off of it, that's just character. It's leaking horsepower. One more, and we are out of here. This is when I like trip and fall, and it goes rolling down the road, and I got to chase it. All right, so we got this. I say we head on back to the garage. Call it day. I got to unload this because I ain't got nowhere to put my daggone cones. I'll have to come back and uh, get my cones. I always try to take those on jobs so we can put them out. That way, if somebody gets hurt, but hey, you crossed the cones. Oh, goodness.